Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, today in this video, I want to cover a very important topic that you will very, very likely cover on your check ride, which is VA. VA is the maneuvering speed for the aircraft and it's very important not because only the check ride but also for the safety of the flight and the aircraft. Before starting the video, I do want to emphasize to check the official references below, read them. Because your instructor or your DE check ride will not take this video as an answer for where is your official references. Study, look up the official references and this video will help you to understand the topic more. I'll start out by defining what is VA. VA is the max speed at which full or abrupt control movements may be used without overstressing your airframe. And by overstressing the airframe, I mean not exceeding the limit load factor. Uh, for the Cessna 172, we have a limitation load factor. The positive limit is 3.8 Gs and the negative limit is negative 1.52 Gs. And flying at or below VA, allows you to make full control movement without exceeding this limit load factor we just discussed because if you do exceed the limit load factor you are risking airframe damage which is very dangerous and how VA does so is actually by stalling the aircraft let's say you're flying and you get hit by some gust which caused a full aft deflection of your elevator what VA does is ensuring that the aircraft stalls before reaching the limit load factor of 3.8 g's so let's say the load factor is increasing on the aircraft right now is going 1 g 2 g 3 g by flying at or below va the aircraft will ensure that before you reach the 3.8 g's you stall the aircraft first that doesn't mean that stalling the aircraft is good thing no but it is still better than exceeding the limit load factor and risking an airframe damage or bending your wing and something to note about va va is only certified for a single full control deflection in one axis in smooth air so to get this protection you can only for example take the elevator full aft but if you start taking the elevator full aft and putting the full rudder it doesn't give you this protection anymore and it has to be in smooth air so the va for the cessna 172 at 2550 pounds is 105 knots so maintaining 105 knots or below gives you the va protection but we will also learn that actually va change with weight as the weight decrease va goes down as well we just said that at 2550 it is 105 knots but at 2200 it's 98 knots and at 1900 pounds it is 90 knots as the weight goes down va goes down as well and you have to maintain va or below va to be safe and what we're trying to discuss in this video is how does va work and why does it change with weight why as the weight goes down va goes down as well and to explain this i would like to take you to some visuals and let's assume we have two good pilots over here. The one to the right is flying at the max weight, which is 2550. And we know that the maneuvering speed for this weight is 105 knots. So let's say they are maintaining 105 knots. We also know that the aircraft stalls at the critical angle of attack. And the critical angle of attack does not change. It is always the same. So for this pilot to maintain 105 knots, let's say um, they have around three degrees of pitch and i will exaggerate it here just for demonstration purposes i will exaggerate the angle of attack what happened is maybe this pilot got hit by a gust or for some reason they decided to do a full aft uh, back elevator deflection and the load factor start increasing on the aircraft and is going from 1g to 2g to 3g and we see here just before reaching the 3.8 g's actually they reached the critical angle of attack when they reach the critical angle of attack, the aircraft stalls and the load factor have decreased. And this is how the VA provides you this protection, by making sure that the aircraft reach the critical angle of attack before reaching the limit load factor. On the left, we have another pilot with another scenario. They are much lighter. They're flying at a weight of 1,900 pounds. Let's say this pilot decided to maintain the same airspeed as the right one they decided to maintain 105 knots we know as the weight of aircraft decrease the required lift decrease as well so for this pilot to maintain 105 knots they will actually have a lower angle of attack to maintain the altitude 
compared to the one to the right. So the one to the right would say maybe around three degrees to maintain the altitude and maintain 105 knots. The one to the left will maybe have only one degree of pitch to maintain the altitude because the fly at lower weight, this means it's the angle of attack will be lower as well. And let's run the same scenario on the left pilot. Uh, something happened, caused this pilot to start full deflection of the elevator, let's say, and the load factor started to increase. So they're going from 1G to 2G to 3Gs. And we see here in this scenario, they actually reach the 3.8 Gs before reaching the critical angle of attack. And this happened because the pilot to the left had a lower starting point to, to begin with, had a lower angle of attack. And by having a lower starting point, they started pulling G's earlier and actually they reached the limit load factor, the 3.8 G's before reaching the critical angle of attack, which can cause them an airframe damage and very dangerous. And I want you to think, how would you do it? How would you have the same starting point for the two pilots over here? If you want the same starting point, you can tell the pilot to the left, hey, add some weight, but is this really a good solution? No. So think about it. To have a higher angle of attack or a higher pitch and maintain the same altitude, I'll tell the pilot to the left, hey, can you slow down for me, please? Can you slow down the airplane? I want your airplane to be at 90 knots or lower, okay? What is the pilot to the left is going to do? To slow down, they gonna go and lower the power, right? And when they lower the power, they start slowing down. But to still maintain the same altitude, they will fly at a higher pitch. Because as weight goes down, the angle of attack or the pitch goes down as well. Make the starting point lower, which makes you pull more Gs before reaching the critical angle of attack. What we try to do is make the starting point the same where if you pull Gs, you're able to reach the critical angle of attack before reaching the limit load factor. And this is how VA works. Please make sure to comment any questions you have about this topic and let me know what topics you want me to cover in the future in the comments below and have a good day.